This is Arnav Vachandri and you are on my YouTube channel, Iron Foot. Today I want to continue my preview of the teams of the Indian Super League 2024-2025 season. 13 teams are taking part and in this episode I'll be speaking about East Bengal Football Club. The Kolkata Giants have now been part of the Indian Super League for four seasons. Hasn't been really easy goings for the Kolkata Giants. But this uh, year, maybe something is possible because East Bengal has had a very, very good transfer period. And when we look at the ins and outs, let's start with the players who've left the club. It is uh, Sharta Guloy, who's terminated his contract and joined Intakashi by now. Kamaljit Singh has left and joined Odisha FC. Mobashi Rahman has gone back to Jamshedpur FC. Mandarao Desai has joined Chennai FC. Felicio Brown Forbes, Victor Vasquez. Alexander Pantic, all short-term additions last season, as well as the end of the loan of Ajay Chetri. Now we look at the incomings. Incomings include Hector Yuste from Arch Rivals Moonbagan Supergiant, Jeekson Singh from Kerala Blasters, Debjit Mojumdar from Chennai FC, Bhavad Lakra from Jamtetpur FC, Nishu Kumar now permanently joins from the Blasters, Madhi Talal joins from Punjab FC, Mark Zotan Puya joins from Hyderabad FC. David Lalan Sangha joins from Mohammedan Sporting. And Dimitrios Diamantakos also joins from the Kerala Blasters. Meanwhile, the contracts of Saul Crespo, Clayton Silver, Ijaji Maher and Mohamed Rakib have been extended. Head coach Carlos Kudrat has a much, much better squad at his disposal than he had last season and um, there'll be also some pressure on him now. Last season, the fans gave him a lot of leeway. He won the Super Cup, he won some derbies. That gave him a lifeline. But now, with this squad, with this team, fans are expecting. Some of them at least top six. Some of them are even talking about the ISL Shield or the ISL Cup. And that, again, puts a lot of pressure on Carlos Kodrat, who... As we've seen last season and we've also seen in the past with Bangalore FC when he was coaching there, rather takes a defensive approach. But this team has a great attacking lineup. And that's going to be the question when we once more go through all um, parts of the team, all divisions and look at what is available. If we look at the goalkeepers, of course, we have to talk about Propsukunagir. Recently called up for the first time to the senior Indian national team um, as a number three, didn't play. But again, Prabhsukhan, since he came last season, has been overall a safe pair of hands. And now he gets some competition. Kamaljit has left the club. Debjit Mojumdar, the experienced Debjit Mojumdar, comes in for a second stint with East Bengal. Defence. Um, an interesting mix because when we talk about defence, we have to talk about Jordanian defender Hijaji Maher, who came in, did a good job last season. And then... The player next to him, Lal Chung Nunga, is to me not really a centre-back. He is a side-back, but he's played. Anwar Ali, I don't know when he will potentially play for East Bengal. I think he'll play for East Bengal at some stage, but will it be after the ban? Will it be in an interim period? Might he not even be allowed to sign again? Different topic, so let's leave it aside. Interesting signing a side-back, Prabhat Lakra, who can add something... Besides um, players like Mohamed Rakib, um, Nishu Kumar, um, Gursimrat is also the young, talented defender. And someone one should not forget who's come in, Hector Yuste. Solid defender last season at Mohun Bagan. And um, he gives them an alternative or maybe he is the potential starter even for this club. When we come to the midfield, last season, Saul Crespo, solid um, Shovik Chakraborty, for me, overall solid. But yes, there's been an upgrade. International, India international, Jixon Singh has joined East Bengal FC. And um, he gives them uh, even more stability in that position. But the interesting part is about East Bengal FC is their attack line in regard to the attacking positions. Because they already had Mahesh Naurem, Nanda Kumar as Indians. But they now have... Madhi Talal. Madhi Talal is one of those standout foreigners who was, you know, quite impressive at Punjab FC. And 
it'll be interesting to see how you play these three players. It's an interesting one. It's a tough one. Up front, Clayton Silva remains, but Clayton Silva is a year older. Now, Dimitros Diamantakos comes in. And Diamantakos showed at the Blasters what a striker he can be. So, theoretically, from Clayton to Diamantakos, younger player could be and should be an upgrade. Young David, of course, also will feature in a lot of conversations. But will he get playing time in the ISL? That will be one thing to see. And then we have those youngsters. Will they get time or not? Will Vishnu get time? Will Ashayan Banerjee get time? Will uh, Gurnaj Singh get time? Will Vannal Pekagwete get time? That will be interesting to see. But overall, at least according to me, East Bengal on paper is a much, much stronger team. And if you ask me, I feel top six should be something that they should be able to get. But will they get it? A lot of teams have strengthened themselves. So that's going to be a tough ask, but that should be the aim. Anything more, I feel, is potentially a bonus this season. Because I said it last year, I think East Bengal needs two, three summer transfer windows to really put together a team which can challenge for a title and also grow as a team to be able to um, challenge the big teams, which are Mohan Bagan Supergiant as well as Mumbai City FC. Now, finally, looking at the first three matches, East Bengal start off on Saturday, September 14, which is today at Bangalore FC. Then, 22nd of September on the Sunday, away match to Kerala Blasters. And then on the 27th of September on a Friday, FC Goa come to Kolkata. An interesting, a tough start for East Bengal. And they'll know a little bit of where they stand. But as always, let me know what you think. Write them down in the comments below. Like, share and subscribe Iron Foot here on YouTube on my other social medias. Visit ironfoot.com and I'll be back very, very soon. So I'm Abba Chaudhary signing off. Bye for now.